Hi there, in this video I will explain you how you can install an operating system for Raspberry Pi 4 when you are under Ubuntu. So in fact uh, what you need to have is the uh, uh, following thing is you need to have uh, Etcher. So um, Etcher is a software in order to flash um, a SD card with an operating system. It's uh, an open source uh, solution. So you just need to go on this given website and then you download it. Once you download it, it's an executable file, so just need to double click on it and we'll get a UI such as this one on which you need to select an image. Then you need to select your SD card that you put on your uh, computer and then you need to flash it. Okay, that's the first step. So you need to have Etcher. Second step uh, that you need to have is um, to use a uh, Jparted. So in fact, your SD card by default when you purchase it, uh, probably it's not in, um, in FAT32, uh, so it's not good. Um, so that's uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna format my SD card. So I'm just gonna insert it within my computer if I can find a slot. So sorry for that, just take a second. Okay, so uh, now I insert my SD card within uh, within my computer. So uh, I, you have to use uh, Jparted. So I'm going to go over here and I use Jparted. Okay, Jparted is very easy to install. And uh, often it's even uh, auto installed on, on Ubuntu. Okay, so here is uh, my SD card. So it's uh, I just purchased it. It's, uh, it's really brand new. And as you can see by default, it's in XFAT32, uh, which is not good for um, for our uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna format it. So I just do a right click. I just format it in a FAT32. Okay. Uh, and now I can um, I can go for it. I don't, I'm not even sure that this one I can format it, but this one needs to be formatted. Okay. So then uh, it's say, okay, we, do you really want to format it because you're gonna lose all the data? So I don't mind. So it's say yes. Okay, and now it's telling me, okay, uh, everything has been done with success, so it's it's all good. So now I get my SD card, which is in FAT32, so I don't need Jparted anymore. Uh, next step is to download the operating system, so you just go on uh, raspberrypi.org, and here you download the version that you want. In my case, I picked it up, the one uh, which is the Raspbian with Buster, so it's a full zip file okay so next is about etcher so uh, now you select your image which in fact correspond to this zip file that you are uh, that you are downloading so select the image uh, in my case it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be this one so I just open it up so uh, you see that even if it's a zip file it's gonna find out automatically the image it find out automatically uh, the SD card and just double checking that's the right one. Okay, so MMCBLK0 um, and here it's uh, LKOP1, so it's not the same. So I'm just going to change uh, this one. Okay, BLK, C, BLK. Okay, so that's that's the one. Um, yeah, I think that's the one. C, BLK0. Okay, so all good. And then, uh, so I need to select it back so yes continue and then you flash it I'm gonna ask for your password and then it's uh, it's starting so it takes uh, some minutes and once it's done it's um, it's done so uh, you can uh, then insert it directly within your raspberry pi um, and it will automatically boot on it uh, so it means that just after a couple of seconds, even without an access to the internet, uh, you will get directly your, um, let's say, your uh, your desktop and you will be already able to use uh, your operating system on Raspberry Pi and trust me, it works. I'm not going to go until the end of the flashing because as you can see, it's going to take some minutes. So does that make any sense uh, for me to wait? But if you do uh, so, you will see that you don't have anything uh, to do when it goes up to 100%. It just say, okay, now you have it installed and, and that's it. And uh, that's it uh, for the video of today. So as an exercise, try to redo exactly what I done and uh, you will see that uh, you will get your uh, SD card fully formatted with uh, Raspbian on it and you will be able to use it for your Raspberry Pi. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own videos and share them on social networks.